Hello. Okay. In this video, we're going to show how to export a course from Angel Archive and import that course over onto Angel Live. For example, if you've taught last summer and you're teaching this summer, you need you may need to go grab your course from uh, Angel Archive last summer and bring it into your summer course for the current semester. So to do this, you're first going to go to Angel Archive, which is at angelarchive.spcollege.edu. You're going to click in the course that you want to bring over to Angel Live, and you're going to start by clicking on the Management tab in that course. Under Management, choose Export Console to the far right-hand side, and under Export Course, choose Angel Format. Under the Export Summary box, make sure that all the boxes are checked, including this General Information box. Once everything's checked, click Next, and you get taken to the Export Queued page. And you can navigate away from this page. Once you get here, don't stay on this page. It, it won't change. Um, what you'll want to do is click back on the Management tab. You can leave the course. You can log out of Angel. Um, depending on um, how many people are trying to do an export, this can take several minutes, um, also depending on your course size. But don't stay on that export queued page because the page won't change, it'll just sit there. So what you want to do, you can again leave the course, log out of Angel, come back, maybe give it 10-15 minutes um, at least, or all day. You can come back later in the day if you have other things to do. But what you'll want to do is, you'll know it's complete when you come back under the Management tab and you see this export demo, or I'm sorry, the export successfully message. Okay? This lets you know that your course has been exported successfully. So once you see that, you can click on the Export Console and you can see that your course is available for download. So what you do is just click on the course name and you should get an option depending on which browser you're using. It may look a little bit different, but to save the file to your computer. So I'm just going to click OK. It's going to allow me to save it. Okay. And that file is now on my computer and it's downloaded. Okay. Now we're, the next step is to actually import that course that we downloaded over to Angel Live. Okay. I pause the video real quick. I am over on Angel Live now, so you can see up here in the URL. I'm at angel.spcollege.eu, and I want to import that course that I just exported into this course shell. So in my live course, I'm going to click on the Management tab. I'm going to click on Import Console to the far right. I'm going to click on Content Package. I'm going to browse for that file that I just downloaded. Here it is. I'm going to click it and then click Open. And then click Upload File. And you should get a Upload File box. Um, depending on how large your course is, it may take a few seconds to upload the file. Once it's done, it'll take you to this page. It should look exactly like this. All these content boxes should be checked. None of the user data boxes. We're just going to click Next, and again, we get this yellow queued uh, message box. So again, we don't want to stay on this page. It's not going to do anything. Uh, you can leave the course. Again, you can log out of Angel. Um, you can, if you're really anxious to get it done, you can keep clicking on the Management tab, refreshing the page until it finally finishes. Um, depending on, again, the course size and how many people are trying to import their course at the same time as you, it may take several minutes. I always say give it at least 10 or 15 minutes um, to finish the import. Okay, And I paused the video real quick while we waited. It took about five minutes for this course to import, which is pretty good. Um, so notice again, just like with the export, you'll know it's done if you come under the Management tab and you see it imported successfully under the Import Console. Once you see that, you should see everything under your Lessons tab, all your announcements, gradebook, and so on. And that's all there is to it.